Hey, what's up guys? Sean Nalawani here of EliteImpactLabs.com and today I just want to talk a little bit about how to structure your pre-cardio meal to maximize your losses in body fat. So the question of what to eat before cardio is usually met with a pretty wide variety of answers. Some will recommend performing your cardio on a completely empty stomach. Others will tell you to consume some protein but no carbs while others will say that a small meal containing both protein and carbs is going to be ideal. But what's the real answer here? Well, the real answer here is that there really is no best answer. In fact, there's really no need at all to worry about the specific foods or liquids that you consume leading up to your cardio workout. The human body is a highly complex and dynamic machine and trying to influence the type of fuel that it uses during exercise, whether it be carbs or fat, is honestly just a waste of your time and your effort. For example, fasted cardio makes sense in theory because it would seem logical that the body would be forced to break down more stored fat for fuel since there's no food in the stomach. However, as I talked about in a previous video lesson, the research uh, has shown that fasted cardio does not result in a greater amount of net fat loss and that it may actually be inferior since it decreases the thermic effect of exercise and often reduces training intensity as well. Another example is consuming a protein shake only and no carbs and the logic here being that your body will spare more muscle and turn to fat since no carbs are present for energy. But this is also wrong because if your body does require carbohydrates for fuel during your cardio sessions, it's simply going to turn to its glycogen reserves, which is the stored form of carbohydrates in your muscles and your liver. On top of this, we also know that the type of fuel that is used during your cardio sessions is not necessarily indicative of its overall effects on your bottom line fat loss. For example, low intensity, long duration cardio burns a greater percentage of fat during the actual session in comparison to high intensity, low duration cardio, which mainly uses carbohydrates. Uh, however, high intensity, low duration cardio results in a significantly greater amount of total net fat loss due to the longer lasting effect that it has on your resting metabolic rate. So when it all comes down to it, fat loss is dictated by net energy balance, which is calories consumed versus calories burned and not by nitty gritty details such as the specifics of your pre-cardio meal. So the answer here is actually very simple and that is to eat whatever you want and spaced as far or as close to your cardio session as you want based on what maximizes your own personal performance, your stomach comfort during the actual workout and your overall um, motivation and how it fits into your meal plan. If that means a simple whey protein shake one hour before, fine. If it means a solid meal of cottage cheese and fruit two hours before, fine. If it means a full on plate of chicken and rice an hour before, fine. It's a highly individual thing and it's gonna vary quite a bit from person to person, so it really just comes down to your own individual preference. Just remember, fat loss is the result of the cumulative effect of maintaining a net calorie deficit over time and not by what happens in short blocks of 20 to 45 minutes a few times per week. When it comes to your fat burning nutrition, Focus on the big picture. As long as your pre-cardio meal fits into your overall diet as a whole, the specifics of that meal are really just a non-issue. So I hope you found the information in this video lesson useful today. If you did enjoy the video, as always, please make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on future video lessons. And also make sure to uh, join the Elite Impact Labs Facebook page for daily articles, videos, tips, and bodybuilding supplement giveaways. Thanks again for watching this video. I appreciate all the support, and I'll talk to you again soon with more free tips.